Austin Matthews gets another hat trick, or does he? It got a little complicated in the game, but the Leafs pull out a huge win against the Washington Capitals. The defense looked a little bit different. Bertuzzi was benched, all of that and more in this video. Lots to like from this game. Welcome back to Leafs Digest. My name is Darius Dominguez, and guys, we've noticed that about 80% of you watching our videos are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you want to do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Toronto Maple Leafs with daily toronto maple leafs news coverage and post game coverage like this and all that good stuff but without further ado let's get right into it lots to like from this game against the washington capitals and it all started with starting on time this is something i talked about in my video after last night's game because they certainly did not start on time yesterday they definitely started on time today austin matthews opens the scoring just 16 seconds in he gets his 56th of the season at the time of course he added another one which is great to see and almost added two but unfortunately some you know the play was offside you know and i had nothing to do with the actual play but here we are in the nhl as a league with the reviews being this you know this drawn out and super slow motion and camera angles that should never be used but anyway one thing i thought was interesting off the top matthew scores right away this is fantastic but the whole bertuzzi situation to open the game he didn't play for about like 10 minutes i think he missed a good three shifts i think maybe four shift rotations uh and tyler bertuzzi hadn't taken a single shift through the first seven and a half minutes of the first period and i think he finally got onto the ice uh around 10 minutes into the period and started making an impact there and he did end up scoring a goal later in the game but i thought that was interesting and sam mckee as well uh noticed in the pregame that uh keith was really animated and you know kind of going back and forth uh, with the trainer about something now that could be anything we could be grasping at straws here but i just thought it was interesting that this was something uh that he caught in the pregame. so maybe it had something to do with bertuzzi maybe it was an equipment issue uh maybe he was you know we can speculate all we want i'm not even gonna throw it out there uh we could speculate however we want but the uh, fact of the matter is uh either something wasn't feeling good or maybe he did something wrong we don't know for sure but the fact of the matter is he had a pretty solid game after that and that's good to see but i do you know human nature i am very curious as to why he did not start the game and was benched for that long maybe it was something he did in yesterday's game but again all speculation guess we'll never know unless sheldon keith has an answer for us which we will cover probably tomorrow or in a coming video so stay tuned for that and and moving on i mean you you move through the game and there's lots to like one thing i didn't like and i'm going to get it out of the way right away is i thought joseph wall for his workload didn't have his strongest game and he let in a couple stinkers uh and a couple that you know weren't his fault either um but there are a few goals you would like to have back and i think joseph wall is still just shaking off that rust from that injury and it was a tough injury to have and come back from so just wanted to throw that out there didn't exactly like the game but i didn't think he played a bad game either i thought there was a couple of goals he, he would have liked back and uh you know you keep rolling the leafs took the win and and we'll focus on that that you know you got to focus on the on the good things but uh another thing i noticed from not only the lineup but the game tonight simone benoit can never i gotta hit it i gotta hit it we're on the simone benoit train, guys. We're on the simone, benoit train. simone benoit can never ever come out of this lineup as long as he's a Toronto Maple Leaf, he can never come back out of this lineup if it's a healthy scratch or for healthy scratch reasons. Unless he's injured, he can never come out of this lineup. He's one of the best defensemen they have. All right. He is actually a difference maker on this team, which is crazy to say, considering where he was earlier um, in his career and last year, you know, coming into the Leafs and all the charts we were looking at and all that stuff. Uh, we thought he was going to be, you know, a depth guy, maybe squeeze in here and there when there's injuries and stuff. He has been great. And I don't think he can come out of the lineup anytime soon. And I think he's going to be a, a huge part of the Leafs in the playoffs. And uh, yeah, he just can't come out of the lineup again. I, I don't know why he did. Um, rest is always good. Rest is always good. But I, I am puzzled as to why he even came out of the lineup. And I'm glad that he's back because he should never, ever come out of the lineup ever again. But anyway, to move on from Benoit, let's move on to Nylander and Matthews. These guys, Austin and Willie, I mean, what a season they have put together for the Leafs this year. Austin, what is there to be said? I mean, sitting at 57 goals right now, could have had 58 if it wasn't for the offside call. William Nylander, career high in points and just continuing to add. They have been everything for the Leafs this year. A couple seasons ago, it was the season of Marner. This season is the season of Austin Matthews and William Nylander. They've taken charge. I'd argue it's a season of William Nylander, but Austin Matthews has been undeniable as 
well. I can't believe the season they're putting together. And William Nylander and Austin Matthews have combined to score 39% of the Leafs' goals for the season. They have 94 goals combined so far, which is absolutely insane. Love that from the trio. And if you take a look at Nylander's stats this year, 38 goals, 53 assists, 91 points on the year in 68 games. Uh, you know, he broke his... Uh, career high in the last game against the Flyers. He was uh, at 87 before, now at 91, and continues to climb. He's on pace for 108 points, which is great from William Nylander. Love to see that. Uh, what a great season he's had. And I'm glad that he's continued it after, you know, he had that little bit of uh, trouble after he signed his contract. Wasn't looking too good there, but uh, he found his way out of uh, that. And I'm glad that he uh, is continuing to do what he does. It, it, it's fantastic. I mean, Anyway, to move on with the game, McCabe scores, adds a little bit of insurance. The Leafs are feeling good about themselves. Just before that, I have mentioned it a few times, Matthew scores that hat trick. Hats are actually thrown on the ice. They call it back for offside. A little ridiculous, but anyway, that's the way it goes. And um, anyway, McCabe scores. They're feeling pretty good. The Caps, the caps don't go away. Uh, not the greatest goal, like I mentioned, on Wool once again. Uh, probably would have liked to have that back. Um, but again, he's just shaking off the rust. I have confidence that he will, uh, you know, get back to his regular form. Not, not that he was even that bad. I just have confidence he'll get back to his regular form. And all of that being said, I mean, they still won the game. He still did enough to win them the game, right? And obviously the forwards put in work as well. But um, I wanted to carve out a little section here. Austin Matthews, two goals. Alex Ovechkin, two goals. What a performance from those two. And you have to appreciate Ovechkin only four the nine 49 goals away from uh Gretzky's record uh and Austin Matthews not to you know overshadow Ovechkin or anything Austin Matthews is actually um on a better goal pace than Alex Ovechkin at the same age so if he does play out his entire season and continues at his pace he will outscore Alex Ovechkin who is on pace to outscore the greatest goal scorer of all time which is insane if you think about it in those terms so uh shout out to those two for entertaining us tonight uh with their skill and, and goal scoring Ovi just gets lost it's crazy uh I can't believe they don't pick them up on the power play or anything like that He's sitting in the same spot every time and the second goal was a very terrible defensive breakdown I will attribute that to a lazy change kind of put Benoit in a tough spot to shoot it up the boards there and it was all a mix up and then you know just the disaster and and will did what he could on that one but again it's the greatest goal scorer of all time or will be the greatest goal scorer of all time um shooting on you and getting that goal so only so much you can do right so um yeah it was it was a crazy game and then uh bobby mcmahon uh gets on the board great play from william nylander not only in time and space nylander created time and space on that play he created the space that McMahon needed uh, in order to score that goal is really nice. Uh, tucks it in there. And then just a couple seconds later, Bertuzzi gets a goal on uh, just chef's kiss pass from Austin Matthews, who gets his third assist of the game. He has a two uh, goal game, three assist game, almost had a three and three for six points, which would have been great. Uh, and I really like that Domi Bertuzzi Matthews line. I'm not saying to keep them together going forward, especially when Marner comes back and they kind of refigured the lines. Uh, but I, I, for the time being, I've really enjoyed that line. I thought that was a good line. And speaking of Max Domi joining that line, I am officially petitioning here for Max Domi to be on the top power play unit. This guy has been a absolute unit on the power play so far this year. And he gets four assists on the night, his uh, career high, career high four assists on the night. And, uh, the Leafs five on five primary assist leaders this season. It's not surprisingly Mitch Marner. I would have thought it was Mitch Marner. It's Max Domi at 17. So if you just take those stats, I think he needs more time to dish the puck out on the first power play unit. I think it could help them uh, a little bit because, you know, they had a very strong uh, February uh, and last maybe month and a half. But recently, I feel like they could use a little bit of help on the power play, even though Tavares, you know, the game got out of hand at the end. Tavares gets another power play goal. Uh, and I don't want to overshadow uh, that pass by Matthews behind the back to uh, Bertuzzi. That was amazing, too. But yeah, to, to go back to Max Domi, having a great season as well. 31 assists. I mean, he came in as advertised. He has 39 points on the season. We'll probably finish around 50, uh, 92 penalty minutes. So he's come in and done exactly as advertised, which is fantastic. I think he's earned himself another contract. And I think all Leaf fans would agree that it would be great to re-sign a guy like Max Domi. That would be fantastic. But yeah, great game overall. And I think uh, for the Leafs, you can feel really good about it. Um, you know, that's a great response by the Leafs. 
Uh, after how they played last night in Philly, they improved to 6-4 and four in the second game of a back-to-back this season with a 7-3 to three win against the Washington Capitals. And the, the Capitals are fighting for a playoff spot, too. This was a very important game to them and that the Leafs just came in and did their business. Matthews, five points. Domi with four. Nylander with three. And Tavares with three as well. Just a great game overall from everyone. Uh, love to see it. So you feel good if you're the Leafs, especially because it was the second half of a back-to-back. And now a huge test in just a few nights against the Edmonton Oilers that's going to be a lot of fun but uh, let me know in the comments what you think should Max Domi be on the top power play unit Austin Matthews continues his thing William Nylander continues his thing what did you like and not like from this game let us know in the comments and Nick and I will see you for another video tomorrow